So how's this for a taboo topic? When is it time to sell your business? Yeah, we get that question time from time. Uh, hey, it's Scott Beebe with the Business on Purpose podcast with Business on Purpose. Hey, make sure to go to our healthy assessment. Uh, so many of you have taken that. If you go to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy, and you'll actually get a metric evaluation of your business. And it is the perfect assessment to help you determine, wait a second, man, am I, am I even ready? Am I at a place to sell my business? It was five days since I had called to check on a particular contractor owner with no response. And so finally, hoping everything was okay, I just texted another quick check-in to this simple reply. Honestly, when I said I work all the time, I wasn't embellishing the truth. I just wrapped up another long day and headed home now. That was on a Sunday night for a business that shouldn't have much to do on the weekend. But far too many business owners, the harsh reality is that the business is owning them. And in some cases, it may be time to sell. Now, it's not always that that's the best time but sometimes that's the right thing. There are three helpful filters to help flush through a decision on when to actually sell and when you should do that. So let's walk through those three things really quick. First, it's really good to ask yourself this question. Do I have the desire? See, desire seeds ground to opportunity that has lured so many business owners down the path of profitable distractions where the potential of profit distractions are what takes the owner away from what they actually desire. See, ownership's really hard. And owners must have a continued desire to own and to lead the business in a way that allows other people to be able to follow. The second element is to ask yourself, am I at a relational impasse? See, many owners are leading their business based on the expectation of generations before that this would always be a family-run business, right? We say things like that, but do we really mean it? See, there's no bad badge awarded to the longest-run family-owned enterprise. The odds, in fact, are often stacked strongly against each person has their own unique skill set, and we should not assume that our children or our next of kin are going to have the desire or the capability to, to run the business. It should be their dream, not your dream. The third filter to use when thinking about selling is to ask, hey, would others lead the business better than you? Life often runs in seasons. In fact, the band, the old band, The Birds, quoting this Jewish proverb, remind us that there's a time to plant and a time to pluck up. Just because you've owned your business for 10 years does not mean that you need to own it for 40. What season of life are you in right now? What season of life is your business in? What's best is to merge those questions with desire and relationship, and you will start to focus on the value and the timing of selling your business.